Hi there everyone, I want to talk to you about pronunciation today and specifically what we're going to talk about is intonation patterns. Intonation just means the rising and falling of your voice or someone's voice while they're talking and it shows how we feel about things, it shows our attitude, it gives our speech character, right? Okay, so I want to give you some tips on some of the most common intonation patterns in English, American English, okay? Uh, the first one is rising intonation. Rising intonation just means that at the end of a word, oh, sorry, at the end of a sentence or a statement or a question, certain types of questions, the voice goes up at the end. And the first type of, um, you know, statement or question that we use this for is for yes, no questions. So it goes up at the end to show we really want to know something. So for example, if you look here, I have a Google Doc, which you'll see in the, um, in the description. You'll have a link to it. You can see what I'm looking at. So here on all of these yes, no questions, I'm going to go up and rise at the end. Did you call your mom? Is it gonna rain today? Are you ready to go now? Can we meet up after class? I mean, I exaggerated those examples, but it really is how we do it. We go up at the end, okay? Whereas some intonation patterns fall, okay? And that means at the end of the statement or the question, it goes down instead of up, okay? A falling intonation just means that you're finished talking for the most part and that the next person should start. So here's some examples. Oh, by the way, we have falling intonation for a lot of different things. For example, for WH questions, not yes, no questions, WH questions like who, what, when, where, why, how. So what's your dog's name? What's your dog's name? It goes down. It's not like, is that your dog? It's, what's your dog's name? Yeah. How many classes are you taking this semester? How many classes are you taking this semester? Goes down. Why do you want to learn English? Why do you want to learn English? Commands are the imperative, and we could use it for a lot of different things. Requests, invitations, polite commands, things like that. Like, please close the door. Please close the door. Don't walk so fast. Don't walk so fast. Goes down at the end. We use it for tag questions as well. A tag question is a question at the end of a statement, okay? And we can use rising intonation on tag questions, and that means we really want to know. It's cold outside, isn't it? That goes up. It's cold outside, isn't it? I really want to know. But most of the time we use tag questions just to have people agree with us and to have small talk and just to show that we think someone already has the same idea as us. It's like a way to have small talk. So in that case, they go down because we're not really asking a question. It's cold outside, isn't it? It's cloudy outside, isn't it? Going down because I'm not looking for an answer. I just want you to agree with me, I'm finished talking. We also will use a uh, falling intonation at the end of most statements, like a negative or affirmative statement. They're from Jamaica. They're from Jamaica. Not they're from Jamaica. No, they're from Jamaica. The class starts soon. The class starts soon going down. Okay, now um, we also have a situation where we have rising and falling within the same statement or question, okay? The first one is when we have a list that we're using in our sentence. So, you know, uh, today I drank coffee, tea, and water. So what I did was I gave you a list of things that I drank, coffee, tea, water. So what I'm doing is I'm saying, Today I had coffee, tea, and water. It goes down. I go up on the first two because I'm not done. 
I go down on the end because I'm done. Today I drink coffee, tea, and water. I can say this, at the store, I can buy clothes, cleaning supplies, and food. In LA, I can go to the mountains, the beach, and the river. Okay, so rise, rise, fall. We also do rising and falling with um, questions where you have a choice, okay? Um, we rise at the beginning and fall at the end. Do you want to take English or math classes? Do you want to meet in person or on the phone? Do you want to meet in person or on the phone? Do you want to take English or math classes? And we also finally at the end, the last time we use this rising and falling intonation pattern is when we use complex sentences or in other words, sentences that start with subordinating conjunctions like if, after, when, although, even though, these types of words. For example, if the class ends early today, we can go to lunch. It goes up before the main clause and down after that main clause. Why does it go up? Because we're showing the listener that we're not done talking even though we're pausing. If the, if the class ends early today, we can go get lunch. Even though you're done with the class, you should keep reading. Because this is my first English class, I'm a little confused. And that's that. I hope that this helps you to follow these intonation patterns when you are listening to people speak in English, but also so that you can practice them on your own. Bye.